um, we had a question come up in class today, which is actually, I think, easier to answer with a video than to type it all out. But it comes from our workbook. Uh, this is a workbook on, on training chart 18465TR. And the, and the question is uh, this one. It's number 12-21. And it is, um, what it is is telling us a way that we can approximate something, and then it asks us to prove if that approximation is valid. And the idea is this, that if you're steering a given course, like this is course through the water, that's my heading, my my compass heading, or in fact, for this problem, you could change this T to M or drop it completely. It doesn't matter. As long as you're in the same system, it doesn't matter if you're true or magnetic here. But here we're steering a course 045, according to our compass, say, and our knot meter speed through the water is 6.0. So that's what we read from our compass and our uh, log or our, our knot meter. But then we have our GPS, and our GPS says we're not making good this 045 we're steering. We're actually getting set. We're getting pushed down to 055. So we're going 055, and we're going a little bit faster than we thought we were. But the main issue of the question is the set angle. So we're steering 045, and we're making good the correction, and we're making good, of course, 055. And the assumption or the point that's being proposed is once you discover that, you want to make an estimate of, you, you want to correct that. You want to go the direction you really want to go. So to make good 055, I'm going to have to, I mean, to make good 045, I'm going to have to point into this current. And this current is pushing me down to the right from 045 to 55, so I'm going to have to point further north. My course is going to have to be up around higher than 45, lower than, look, excuse me, lower than 45. And your first guess here is, since you're getting set 10 degrees, 045 getting set to 055, then your first guess is, stir the, turn the boat to 035. Now, certainly, uh, so that's your first guess, and that's the whole point of this question. Once you see you're getting set that much, once you read the COG is that after a minute or two, and you know you're steering a steady course, then you know you've got to change. You've got to turn into the current. And your first guess is 10 degrees, in this case, uh, to 035. Now, uh, we're going to know the answer of wh whether or not we did it right or not, because after we run for another three, four, five minutes, depending on conditions, we're going to see our new COG, and we want our new COG to be 045. So in a sense, we're just dealing with that first moment of how much do we crank in to hope it's right, and then we watch it on the instruments to see if it is right. All right, so that's the idea, is that your first thought of correction is turn in the amount you're getting set down. And in this case, it was 10 degrees. And it gave an example here, 045, and these are speeds. So then what it says is, Part A, solve for the actual current, and we can do that because the, the vector difference between this and this is just the current. It says solve for that current, so you can say it's so many knots in such a direction. Then you know you want to go over for 045, so now we have standard procedures to calculate what the exact correction angle is. What the exact correction angle is. Now we want to compare that exact correction angle to the uh, quick estimate we got of just uh, uh, turning in what we, uh, how much we were set. Okay, that's the, that's the idea. Here are the answers. I'll put this over here where I can read it. This, we don't need it. And now we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll just solve this. So first of all, we're going to look at our situation. This is open CPN, and I'm going to go here. And I want to go, uh, and I'll zoom in to get some kind of reasonable scale. Here's what I'm steering. I'm steering six knots. At 05, at 045. 045. Now, I have to mouse around. Oh, excuse the pun. I have to mouse around here a little bit to get this right. Okay, there. Bang. Stop. Exit. All right. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're steering. We're steering 045 and we're and our comp uh, on, the, on the heading. And, uh, and the knot meter reads 6.0. But in reality, what we're doing, and now I'm just start, and I'm doing, by the way, I'm making this over here that I started with is basically making a, a one-legged route, a one-legged route. Oh and, oh, and I'm going 045, and I'm going 6.5. So I just come back here to 6.5. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, wait, 6.5055, right there. No, nope, right there, bang. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Okay, so here's what we're steering, and here's what we're actually making good. So there's a current. We're assuming, by the way, that this is current, not instrument errors or steering errors or various other errors. We're assuming that we're all doing everything's right, except the water's flowing this way. The water's flowing this way. And since we plotted this at our actual speeds, then this is a one-hour drift. So I can go up here, and again, uh, you see I'm, I start up there. I can just click here, say, yes, use that one, and click here and say, yes, use that one, and say, exit, I'm done. So there's our current. So we've solved our current, and uh, it says it's 1.22 at 114. 1.22 at 1.114. Now, if I look at what's in the book, what's in the book? 1.2 at 1, 1154. Now, I don't know which one of those two is, is more accurate. I'd have to do it, uh, solve it numerically. Uh, because you see, I can move this around here and still be at 055. I can move 055, 055. Uh, you know, I've, I've got some freedom in setting up these angles, and I haven't tried to be as precise as I could be. That's not the point now. All right, so now, so we know what the current is. Now we, so that's one type of navigation problem. You've got your, you know, your heading and your course. I mean, your, your, he, your heading and your, uh, your, um, speed through the water and course through the water, and you know your cog and sog, the vector that connects those two is your current. So that's a, a type of navigation problem which goes into this. Now the second type of navigation problem is we're here and we want to go in direction 045, which is here. Let's say here. Okay, I don't care what, how length this is. This is the direction I want to go. So the way I solve for, and I know my engine can only go six knots. Right, my engine can only go six knots, and I know the current is this this right here. It's one point two, you know, one point two knots in one one four, one 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 five, something like that. So I'm going to just draw. Okay, so that's the way I want to go, and here's the way I solve that. I start a new one of these uh, one one legged routes. I click here, say yes, and I want to go. Uh, uh, let me zoom in a little bit. Oh, now I got to go. I'm using the arrows on the computer now to zoom in and move. Okay, so what do I want? This is one 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 five uh, one one five at one two o oh, one two o oh, yeah one two o oh, one one. Okay, that's it. Bang. So that's the current. I've drifted into the current. I just, in other words, I just start at some place here. That's the way I want to go. And I let the current drift me for an hour, and I would end up there. Now I know I can go six miles an hour, six knots. So I just want to start here and say, where does six miles per hour put me back on this line? And that's the heading I want. So I do it again. I click here, and then I click here, and then I just go up to where... Uh, this reads six. Uh, where does this read six? Right about there. Right about there. Bang. Done. Escape. All right. So that's the heading I want. That's the answer. I want to drive at heading 034. 034 is what I want to head to. Now, before, what did we have? We had uh, 05. We went 10. We went 45. Minus 10, 35. So in other words, just guessing from our first set, it was 35. Now we did it more correctly, and we see it's 34. So you see, that all that extra work was not really worth it, because in a few minutes, 10, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, we're going to know what's right anyway. So that's the answer. That's the answer to that. Now, the rest of the problem, it asks for the actual... You see, when I, I'm dri uh, when I go uh, six knots in that direction, the rest of the answer is what speed are you actually going to make good in the direction you want to go? So that I need to know this vector from here to here. That's the speed I'm going to make good. Let me just see if I can cheat and bring that guy down here. Okay, like that. And I go over here, and that says I'm going to make good 6.2. Uh, 6.2, and again, I haven't been as careful as I should be about it. The answer in a book says 6.3. So anyway, this would be that. This would be your triangle. You know, I'm uh, in in one hour. Uh, well, in one hour, I'm getting set here for this direction here. Oh wait, maybe I don't have that exactly. 
Oh, no. Well, anyway, that, that's not the point I want. The details you could work out by solving it more, more precisely. And, and one hour I get drifted here, then I go six miles back in this direction. That's my so-called course to steer, CTS. Course to steer was 034, and I end up on my track. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll track across the waterway, making good 6.2, but always making good the direction 045 that I want to. All right, that's a, the answer, kind of longish answer to that question. I'll post this in the uh, reference section.